Hi, I'm Brian Eater. And I'm Sherry Lakey. We're the co-owners of Anna Domini Gallery in the Sofa District of downtown San Jose. Um, we started our gallery in June of 2000 uh, based on a love of urban contemporary art. Uh, for six years we were actually housed in a warehouse by the train station in an industrial section of San Jose and we've been downtown now for about a year. Anno Domini was founded on the idea of um, a lot of our artists in the beginning were being chased off the streets and we really wanted to find a way to give them a safe house for what they were doing and also to elevate the art form and give them something to look up to. So we began searching for the artists that we felt would end up in the museums one day. We're really interested in subculture and counterculture. Um, the urban contemporary art that we've kind of coined um, as, as a sort of a description of this genre includes uh, skaters, surfers, um, tattoo artists, uh, anybody that's kind of considered an outsider of sort of the academic art world, uh, we're really, really interested in. Um, we do a lot of live painting projects around San Jose. Uh, one of the first things we did was get a few of our favorite artists to do um, a mural uh, on the side of our building, the full length, um, which kind of shocked everybody at first, but it's kind of the gateway to SOFA, and we really wanted people to get a sense that this is the art gallery row. And so we were able to... Um, bring out about eight of our artists, uh, including our next artist, which is Daniel Jesse Lewis, who's on exhibit right now um, through, through mid-March. My name is Daniel Lewis, and uh, I'm having a show here at Anna Domini, and it's called Everything All at Once, All Day Long. The basic idea is that there is no one specific subject matter that I like to focus on and more and more as the years go by I just kind of I kind of think of myself as trying to capture everything and that there's no subject that's unworthy or you know it, it seems like throughout history there's you know there's um, there's high art subject and low art subject and they're always kind of you know separated but that the idea that any any moment <clears throat> anything that happens is significant depending on how you look at it. So it's a series of portraits in a way. Uh, it's kind of just zeroing on these little moments and, and focusing in on those and trying to maybe, you know, add some significance to some of these little, maybe seemingly mundane things, you know, just sitting around or staring off into space. Or, or just a family walking down the street or something and, and that there's a, you know, a lot there in each, in each of those characters and just trying to you know, focus in on some of those things. You kinda, you're kinda like, you're, your mind is kind of photographic it seems like. You walk around the streets and you see things <laughs> yeah. and then you, instead of taking a picture of them you go back and you paint them. Yeah, well I do take a lot of pictures too uh -huh. which helps me I think to focus in on things that are going on. But yeah, I mean, I do definitely, I do definitely, you know, see some lady on the train and she has some particular look and I just kind of look at it and go like, wow. And, and then maybe that night I might just draw it out or, you know, usually I don't, I'm not like the kind of guy that like goes around sketching or whatever. It's more like something I do at home alone. And it's not really important to me that it, that it look exactly like this person, but more that it captures the feeling that that person had. Similar to the title of the show, I think this is, um, you know, kind of representative of that, and uh, it's called Everything. <laughs> and uh, by the way, it's uh, eight feet tall by 13 feet wide. It's sort of kind of arbitrary size, but it, it worked out. The idea was actually, I was just gonna do a big drawing, but then I just kept adding kind of paint and stuff, but it was, it's mostly graphite, okay. uh, like pencil, and, you know, but I couldn't help myself. I kept adding little bits of color and stuff. So it kind of turned into a painting, you know, but it's primarily uh, graphite. And it starts in the center with my house. This is where I live. And kind of, you know, all these various events that have gone on over the last year and just trying to tie things together. And there's, there's, there's a degree to which it, it's like a, a chronology, but there's also just, um, 
this idea of, you know, at any moment in time, there's so many millions of things happening all over the world. You know, there's just anything you can think of, it's happening. 